is look for the beauty that lies within what God has called us to. Mm -hmm. There's a beauty there. Mm -hmm. And start with the beauty. And then you will have to tr trim. You'll have to prune. But you'll prune correctly, not incorrectly. So I never will forget that bonsai exhibition with that Mr. Whoever, Miyagi, that taught me so much from a bonsai exhibition about being a pastor. Mm -hmm. Man, that is just brilliant. I think every pastor needs to hear that story. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I do want to uh, ask for one more favorite story. Uh, it's a story I remember hearing you, you share in a message about a mathematician, uh, a first-year mathematics student who had an exam, and he asked if he could take in a, an A4 sheet of paper. You able to share that story one? You remember that one? Yeah. About which one now? The, uh... the, there's a mathematics student. And uh, he says to his professor, can I take in an A4 sheet of paper with some equations on it for my exam? And, uh, and he, he had a trick up his sleeve. Do you remember that one? Oh, yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. no, the uh, professor said, tomorrow you, you take a very important test. And the student said, can we bring any helps with us? He said, no, it's not an open book. But he said, whatever you can get on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, but one paper only. Then you, whatever you fit on that paper, you can bring, which is one paper. So the next day, there was a graduate math student helping this guy take the test. And the professor said, whoa, whoa, that's illegal. And the student pointed down and said, no, look, he's standing on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And he said, whatever we can fit on that paper, we can bring. So here's a graduate student in math, and he's helping me. And uh, sometimes, you know, we look at uh, our resources, and it's very small. We don't have enough money. We don't have enough, have enough talent. We don't have enough, and you fill in the blank. But it's like Jesus says, I can fit into that. I can fit into that. And we forget that even though we might have only an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of resources, Jesus can fit on that. And when he stands before you, all the world is at your disposal. Mm. I also look at that story uh, in, in another way where, you know, Christianity isn't just about uh, a sheet of paper or a book, it's actually about a person, you know, yes. it's about Jesus, a relationship with Jesus. Yes. And, uh, you know, there might be people listening uh, or watching this and thinking, you know what, this guy's got so many great stories, he's full of life, he's got an amazing story about how he came to Christ, and there might be people that haven't made that decision to have a relationship with Jesus. Would you speak to those listeners now about how they could make that connection and, and become a Christian? Yeah, it's, you know, the first thing is when God ignites a little thing in your heart that you say, you know, I don't understand everything there is to understand, but I know something resonates inside of me. Because in the book of Ecclesiastes, in the Old Testament, the Bible says God has put eternity in the heart of every man, not just some, not just Christians, every man, so that when God speaks a word that is an eternal truth, it resounds. It resonates in the human heart. And if God is touching your heart in any way and it resonates with truth, give in to it. The best thing you can do and the greatest victory you'll ever win is when you give in to truth. Don't resist it. Don't stumble on it. Don't try to figure it out. Give in to that and let truth overwhelm you. And the Bible says in John 8, it, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Call on his name and you'll be surprised what he's about to do. Well, I just think that's uh, the best news, and I remember seeing the, uh, the bumper stickers uh, or the number plates we used to see in Hawaii uh, about New Hope, and it said, you know, it's the most eternal decision you'll ever make. And, uh, you know, I just think it's uh, an incredible, uh, you know, mark of your ministry that there's so many souls that have been saved. And, you know, if people are uh, wanting to respond to this, uh, you can go to newhopebrisbane.org or you can go to enewhope.org and have a look at the Hawaii website. And there's information there about following Christ and journaling and all the information we talked about today. Uh, now, lastly, uh, as we wrap up, Pastor Wayne, um, would you be able to uh, pray for, uh, for New Hope Brisbane? I will. Because we'll play, we'll play this at our church. And uh, hi, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, just listen in because I think when this man prays, God listens. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, and to all of New Hope Brisbane, I uh, want to send you our greetings from New Hope in Hawaii and also from New Hope uh, Christian College in Eugene, Oregon. 
we need a little bit of Aussie blood over here. So <laughs> come on over. We can use some humor. And uh, uh, it will be wonderful to have you. But let's pray. Lord Jesus, thanks so much for New Hope Brisbane and what you have done already in them. The ups and the downs because your truth and your gems of life are not only on the upside, it's on the downside. Sometimes we just want the upside and we miss the down and we never grow. Oh, we celebrate. We're giddy with laughter and rejoicing. But the depth comes when we are able to see you true even on the downside. That's where our roots grow down deep into the things of God. So thank you for both the upside and downside. I pray, Father, that both will be combined to give a fresh anointing in this season to the people of New Hope Brisbane. May indeed they be a light so that all will see the glorious God that we serve. Thanks for the leaders there and those who have said yes to putting their hands to the plow. I pray, Lord, that you will increase their anointing. Thank you for believing in them. Help us to also do the same to have confidence so that we'll not throw away our confidence, which has great reward, but instead we will move forward. No, not with arrogance, but with confidence in you. So we do that in the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, Matt, I reckon your history, Micah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Matt. It's a joy being with you.